Somali presidential candidates asked Prime Minister Mohamed Roble to suspend national elections Sunday. Roble met members of the Council of Presidential Candidates to hear their complaints about polling. He tried to reassure the CPC that he is working to ensure transparency in the balloting. He told the candidates that he instructed the Federal Electoral Commission to carry out their duties in accordance with the agreed electoral procedures. Roble said the commission is holding urgent meetings to look closer at complaints. Roble floated the idea of convening the National Consultative Assembly to address the concerns about polling. But the CPC pressed the Prime Minister to restart the process to allow for fair elections. Meanwhile, lower house voting continued in Galmadug and Southwest State. Once again, it appeared that allies of President Mohamed Formaggio are having success. The current speaker of the lower house, Mohamed Mersal, was re-elected in Southwest State. The former defense minister from Baidoa has been the speaker since 2018. He is seen as a close Formaggio ally. Former Commerce and Industry Minister Aidan Mohamed Noor Soransar also won his seat on Sunday. His victory was a landslide, 63 votes to 11. Mohamed Osman Jawari continued to press his case that he was being unfairly left out of the election process. <laughs> Former House Speaker's seat from Southwest State went to Muhammad Ali Hassan in Sunday's vote. Officials from the Federal Election Commission made a public appearance to refute Juwari's claim of unfairness. They said Juwari's complaint has never been taken to the dispute committee and that his decision to push his case through the media was inappropriate. While the voting was being held, the Al-Shabaab was firing mortars toward Baidoa. The shells didn't make it to the polling area, landing in the southern outskirts of the city. One Formaggio ally who did not receive good news was Yassin Farid. The acting NISA director's November 25th election to the lower house is in question after the Electoral Disputes Resolution Committee said it would look further into charges that his seat in Galmadog was handled outside the rules. Somalia's international partners issued another statement urging the country to complete balloting. Their latest plea, coming from the United Nations offices in Mogadishu, calls for December 24th as a deadline for finishing the legislative vote. ADN-TV will continue to report on progress in Somalia's national election.